Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. I'm going to give a shout out to the notification gang, Key Talk gang. Give it all the reader the same thing for rocking with me every single video. If you listen to my voice right now, go ahead and like the video and hit the notification so you get a notification every single time I drop a video. Anyway, so some good news is coming out for Young Thug right now. It looks like a lot of the witnesses that they got, you know, a lot of the snitches pretty much, they're actually deciding that they no longer want to snitch. Not only that they don't want to snitch, but at least they don't want to get on trial and give testimonies and nothing like that they actually trying to stall out and wait to see if uh you know the current fulton county da Fonny willis will uh you know be taken away because there's elections coming up so pretty much they're hoping that once the elections come up, they will replace uh, Funny Willis as the DA. And I guess they're hoping that the next DA that actually gets in office is not going to be as strict and as hard on, on you know on gangs as Funny Willis has been. So they're trying to hold off their testimonies until after that election, and hopefully she goes away. Anyways, actually, you know, during her little press conference, a reporter asked her about it, and they were like, you know, do you think they're, you know, trying to – hold off the testimonies uh, simply because the elections are coming up and she didn't even answer the question. She literally just walked away after they asked her that question. Here it goes. You see a lot of delays um, people not wanting to testify. And even some people who originally were willing to testify now finally took the delay. Do you think this is part of, of a general tactic to push it as far past you're an excellent reporter, but with that, I'm going to end this uh, press conference. Thank y'all for coming. Uh, 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 so besides a lot of people in the comment section pretty much saying, God dang, Miss Funny Will is kind of thick. They also are saying stuff like, oh, yeah, they, they, you know, I'm talking about, they know the reports that came out about Lil Woody who's snitching, and that's why they ain't trying to be in that same boat, you know what I'm talking about. They're going to try to do anything they can to try to, you know what I'm talking about, make sure that they don't get their family in any type of danger or they self in any type of danger for that fact of the matter as well. They know that once they snitch, they get inside their paperwork, and when they hand that paperwork, you know what I'm talking about, they're going to be all over the blogs. They're going to be all over the news. They, they'll be everywhere. You know, I'm talking about that they do any type of snitching like that as well. So who knows, man? We'll have to see how this goes. I don't know when the actual election is uh, to see if, you know, Funny Willis will continue being a Fulton County DA or not. Uh, but obviously got to be somewhere close, maybe not even close, because we don't know how far away this actual trial is. Uh, there's always all types of delays and anything that could actually happen, pushbacks, trying to get more data. The lawyers got all type of motions that they can actually file to try to get it pushed back. So I guess that's kind of the game plan that they're doing right now, because of course, you know, of course, Young Thug's got the best lawyer and Gunnick's got the best lawyer, but the lawyers is under them kind of work for them as well. So, uh, you know, the under lawyers are pretty much taking care of the rest of their team. Like I said, there's a lot of people that's locked up. There's a lot of lawyers. So they're probably all inconcisive in a plan together to try to figure out a way where, you know, they don't have to actually snitch, even though, you know, talking about some already said they will snitch. And like we got YSL Woody, who already did, you know, somebody give up that info. And of course, he's on the paperwork already. I know they trying to avoid that at all costs anyways. So this is kind of some good news for uh, Young Thug. We'll see how it goes. Let me know something coming out below. Let me know what's about this entire deal. I'm out.